Maybe it's just me, bro. I don't know, but you is weird. One, to me, it's just it's just simple. James Harden don't want to be held accountable. Dan Tony is the worst defensive coach in NBA history. Ain't gonna win shit. Ain't won shit as the head coach, and he easy to run over. So James is trying to continue to be around close to Dan Tony, so he can't be held accountable. And then again, what type of dude is you? The Rockets finally get a young black coach. A young black coach get an opportunity, and you don't want to show up to camp. You don't want to play for him. How that look? And you wonder why every time a black coach get a job, they put him in a bullshit situation. Look what you're doing. What a real one would do is go play for that black coach and make him look good and build with John Wall and DeMarcus Cousins, some real ones. But obviously, you want to chase rappers. All right, so check this out. Houston, we in trouble. James Harden demanding a trade has made it difficult for that Rockets organization to really move forward as an organization and to make it even worse. It seems like James Harden doesn't really have that much of a high trade demand considering he's a top six player in the league. You might say, what do you mean by that? His playing style is so unattractive because of how much iso ball he has done over the past five years where it's like, if you trade for James Harden, you gotta wonder, is he compatible to play with another superstar along with him? And will it be a happy situation? Like, they can say all they want, but Russell Westbrook didn't like playing with James Harden. Chris Paul didn't like playing with James Harden. And so did Dwight Howard. So will Joel and Beattie like playing with James Harden? And that's a real question you gotta ask. Now to Steven Jackson's point about James Harden doing Steven Salas, a black coach, dirty. Many of these players don't care. They're selfish. And what I mean by that is, they do whatever benefits to themselves. Because the person that was really advocating for more black coaches was Stephen A. Smith. Because I barely heard players complain about a lack of black coaches in the league. For example, Stephen A. Smith was the one complaining about Steve Nash becoming a head coach in the NBA. Players only like the front offices that help them maximize their playing styles and stats. Whatever coach can help them win and get the best stats in doing so is what players look for in a head coach. They don't care if they're white, Hispanic, black, or brown. They don't discriminate. <laughs> they don't care as long as it benefits their career. James Harden is looking like he's auditioning to be on Love & Hip Hop. With all the rappers he be around, I can't be lie. He's the Drake of the NBA, and what I mean by that is, Drake has a reputation of being a, a basketball wife, and being around all these NBA players. James Harden is that to the rappers, right? He's around Meek Mill a lot, Lil Baby a lot, and Young Thug, and he, really, he knows what other rappers he be around. It's like he's trying to get piped by all of them. But it does suck though, like every two years, our superstar wants out, because it sucks for the small market franchise, where there's no hope. Like, if Zion can keep his fat ass in shape, he's gonna be on the Lakers by the time he's in year 8, playing with John Moran. Like, John Moran won't be playing his prime for the Grizzlies. Oh no. But that's just the way the league is right now, with every superstar in the small market asking to be traded. Like, even though Jason Tatum is in a small market, man, <laughs> eventually he's gonna ask to be traded, bro. He's gonna demand a trade, let's be honest, man. Even if the Celtics are good. That's just the way the, like the league is right now.